Rad Trap Productions, we show you how to do stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper towel holder for your kitchen. We just got new cabinets and we had to take everything down, redid the drywall, all that kind of stuff, new countertops, beautiful. However, when we put everything up, I put up the paper towel holder right on the wall. It pulled out with the little legs. So then I put wall dogs in and I screwed it into that. It pulled out again. So I've had enough of that. I'm gonna make a plaque. Now this is a spare piece. This is like a wall spacer for the cabinets and this is just a spare piece I had. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna make a plaque out of this and then I'm gonna mount the paper towel holder to this. This will be lagged into the wall so we won't have the same issues. Rat Trap Productions, we show you how to do stuff. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a plaque for a paper towel holder. Okay, so this is the piece I'm gonna use. You can see that it's routed out. Now if I had this up against the wall, like this, you would see this routed out piece, but what I'm gonna do is create a finished edge here. I like the look of this. I don't wanna see the grain at the end boards, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut this at 45 degrees, okay? So it's gonna cut notch out at 45 degrees, then I'm gonna take a little piece and I'm actually going to glue it so it's a finished look on both sides. I want this to be at least 16 inches because I'm assuming that the studs are 16 on center. So I'm gonna actually make this piece 18 inches long. I'll use the rest of the scrap to do those end pieces and all that. All right, so I have my compound miter saw at 45 degrees. I'm just gonna cut this guy. Now I'm gonna measure 18 inches here. There we go. All right, so now you can see that it's finished here, of course, and then it's finished here, because all I did was I made a 45 cut, and then I cut it flush. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna cut it flush right here, and then I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna clamp it, and I'm gonna glue it. Okay, so all that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue here, and then I'm gonna tape it. All right. Nice and finished looking. Put a little bit of putty here and do a little bit of light sanding. I'm gonna use a very, very, very light putty. Just prep that a little bit and that a little bit because it's gonna be tucked under the cabinet, but your eye might pick it up a little. This is three inches wide. All right. This is 18 inches. I want to put it into a stud and those are 16 on center. So, what I need to do is measure an inch and a half will be the middle of this board as far as the width. And then, right at an inch, so right here, boom. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna step it up. So the final step, this button to fit in just like that dig so now I got to step this one as well countersink it so this will stop there and then I'll put a button here to countersink it or <laughs> sorry to fit like that see that's how it's gonna work. All right, so here's the old one. It pulled out. We used these, which are typically pretty good, but obviously something that gets pulled on every single day, not so good. No. Where is there a stud? How do you know? Well, there are some things you can do to help you figure it out. These new cabinets will show you where the stud is. All you have to do is move some stuff around and find any place where you see, aha, look at that. See that right there? That's telling me there's a stud there because they're not gonna hang these on drywall. They're gonna hang them right into this stud. So what I did is I took this and I transferred a mark down there. This is getting covered up anyway. So I decided to do a little exploration with the nail, find out where that stud was. Then I measured 16 inches over and I used my nail and I found a stud there. You can use a stud finder if you trust that. 
put this in first. Make sure I'm at the top. This is the top piece because it's got that little burn right there. I'm going to do it loosely though. Why? Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to level it. That's level. That is tight on there. Now all I need to do is take my two screws and screw that in. And then I'm done. Put that right in the middle. I'll put my level on top of it. Make sure I'm level. That's looking good. Pencil. Look at how nice that looks with the finished edge and everything. Beautiful. That's how you do it. Looks nice in a kitchen like this, right? You need something a little bit more finished. So, Rat Trap Productions, we show you how to do stuff today. I showed you how to make a mount, a plaque mount, for Telbar.